So today we're going to be talking about the book of Lamentations. Have you heard of that book before? Well, it's written by someone named Jeremiah, who was a prophet. And these are the five main chapters in this book. It's actually a book of five very sad poems. The reason why the book is like this is because the prophet Jeremiah was actually quite sad when he was writing the book. But he still had hope because he spoke about God's love and care in between all of this. Jeremiah wanted those who are reading this book to turn back from their sin and repent and to trust in God again because he is faithful. Now, why was Jeremiah so sad, you might think? It's because he witnessed the destruction of Jerusalem and he was writing about this in the book. So here's the book of Lamentations summarised into three points. First up, Jerusalem was a beautiful city, but it was destroyed by the Babylonians. And this was because the people of Jerusalem, they kept on sinning, right? Without any thought of tomorrow. And even when God sent his servants to warn them, they did not repent. And now the people of Judah have to face their punishment. Now, the Babylonian soldiers did a lot of horrible things to the people of Jerusalem, like set fire to different things, drive them out their homes, and they basically turned the city into a pile of rubble and drove pretty much all the citizens out. God is just, and because of this, there is consequence to sin. However, through his mercy, he actually gives us opportunities to repent. Now, from this book, there's actually several really, really powerful word of God's, which I'm going to show you guys on the screen. First one's from Lamentations 3.22. Have a look at this one now. It's from Lamentations 3.35. And finally, Lamentations 5.21. Why don't you pause the video and try and memorise this verse? Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're going to be making a mini city. So for this you guys are going to need an empty toilet paper roll or even a kitchen roll and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by painting it red because I wanted the building to look red. So you can choose whatever colour you want and paint it or draw it on or feel free to do what you want. So once you're happy with that, I'm going to place that to the side and take some different coloured pieces of paper. The blue one is for the roof and the yellow ones are for the door and for the windows. So the blue one I've just folded in half and decided to draw some designs on it just to make it look a little bit more roof-like. And then with the other pieces of paper I drew out some squares um, for the windows and also a door which I cut out later on. Once you're happy with the way things have turned out, what we're going to do is we're going to stick it all onto our building. Now you can do this in any way that you want or you can add more windows, add more doors or even a funkier roof. Just wanted to remind you guys that if you do need any help then don't forget to ask someone who's around you especially during this part where we try to stick the roof on it can be a bit fiddly and things can get a bit sticky as well so if you do need help don't hesitate to ask Once you have done that, you have completed the final step and made your mini house. Now you can do this with a friend and create your very own city. And I hope you guys had fun doing this with me. Now, have a think about what you guys learnt today from watching this video.
Now go find one friend or family member to tell them about what you learned.